Hey Pisces, what's up, what's up, babies? Happy birthday, babies. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are celebrating, enjoying yourselves, making it do what it do, being happy and joyous, dancing and laughing and eating and doing all the things that we like to do, babe. Those of you who are out on vacations in that nice hot weather, enjoy, baby. Enjoy. Here we go. Jumping into a general reading for my Pisces subscribers, spirit ancestors. Angel guys, you are welcome into the room. We will start off with some Moonology Oracles for my Pisces, for my soul tribe, baby. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, baby. Prosperity, baby. Good fortune coming right up, baby. Taurus is what, May? It's time to take action. New moon in areas. Take action, baby, so that things can uh, align. Take action in the new moon in areas, which is after Pisces season, right? So end of March, beginning of April, right? And then it's area season. And then it's Taurus. And then it's Taurus, baby. Okay, so take action, baby. Take action. They one step ahead, baby. So we can make it do what it do. Can we get one more from my Pisces? Spirit ancestors, thank you. You're very close to achieving a goal. Very close, baby. Hold your vision. Hold on tight, baby. Hold on tight because you almost there. You almost there. For those of you who are um, using your, your creativity, for those of you who are building your businesses, for those of you who have been working hard towards your goals and your manifestations, baby, yeah. You're very close to achieving your goal, baby. Don't ever give up. Don't doubt yourself. Have faith in yourself and your God, baby. Okay? That you can get it done. That you can be successful. Use your energy gracefully, baby. And make it do what it do. Always, always, always with good intention. That's how you get it done, baby. Moving right into the traditional. And we have... Okay, we have some, um, this Six of Pentacles is supposed to be a card of, like, giving, of, like, charity. Um, I, I personally don't like the card because it always makes me feel like crumb picking. Like, uh, only giving someone as much as, uh, enough to keep them quiet. Enough to keep them, uh, not, um, not just that, but it also makes me feel like they have to beg for this person's attention. Uh, this card has the Libra card, the Libra scales on it, which is supposed to be like a balance, but the card itself is not balancing out shit. Okay. Like begging for somebody's attention is what we not doing. Okay, honey? Well, maybe someone is begging for your attention. The Knight of Swords is coming in. Okay, so the Knight of Swords is coming in to make an offering. But this offering is probably like a... Like a little sign sign. Okay, it makes me feel like they're coming in to make sure you're still around. A little sending you a message. Okay, so someone may be thinking about bringing you an offering. It's something small. It's, it's, it's just like checking in to make sure that they can still uh, get your attention. Okay, offering a small token of emotion, a small message, uh, a little something, something. A little message, hey, how you doing? I've been thinking about you. Um, 
um, it made it like, like real simple, like that. Okay, like an like an immature message. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Yeah, somebody may think that you're an option, or you may have options. Okay, you may trying to be figuring out your options. Then we got another offering. In the center. Ay, Dios mío, Pisces. Somebody trying to offer you some of that thanger. Oh, Lord mercy. Somebody trying to come. They coming in fast, too. Both of them is coming in fast. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Okay, but they don't look like they coming in for, uh, they coming in to offer you a little, little sound, sound. Okay, neither, uh, neither offer is a big deal. And be careful because one of them think you're an option. You may have a, a, a strong connection with one though. Okay, that's my soulmate card. Four of Wands. Okay, someone may have had options, but they're coming in to give you an offer. Uh, this person may realize you they sold me. This person, um, the King of Cups, is bringing in an emotional offering. See, now this offering is deep. Because the King of Cups offers, he loves deep. Okay? <clears throat> An emotional man, a sensitive man, a stable man. Um, then we have the magician. He's offering, they're trying to create some kind of... Um, See, you, it's like you got offerings coming in, right? This offering is like, it's like they only coming in to get your attention. Like, is they not coming in to give equal give and take. Um, you probably practically, like, have to beg for this person, like, for... You may be dealing with somebody who thinks they that bull. Okay? That people have to beg for their attention, beg for their affection. Uh, this may be someone who got money. Okay? And so they feel as though they're entitled. Or, um... This is a charitable card, so the person might be charitable. They might be giving. Okay? They may be giving. But where you're concerned, it makes me feel like... Like they crumb pick you, like, like, like they don't give you what you deserve. And then you have another person coming in who thought you was an option and may have realized that you're actually their soulmate. And now they want to come in with some kind of emotional stability, emotional, uh, uh, they may love you. Okay, they may love you. They because we got emotional, right? He's emotional. He's uh, stable. He's uh, um, he's giving. He's he the King of Cups. He take care of who he love. And then the reason why I say what I say is because he has the Infinity Sign over his head, the Magician, which is to me is forever, ever, baby. The magician with the infinity sign and the four of wands is definitely a soulmate connection. Okay? This lifetime and the next lifetime. So, for one of these people, you may feel very comfortable around this person. This person may make you feel safe since the moment you met them. Since the moment you met them, you felt safe around them. 
Since the moment you met them, um, there was a connection, instant connection. Instant. It was instant connection. Um, the problem with this person is that this person tends to hold back. Okay, this person may be a little stingy. We got one that's giving, but he doesn't give what he's supposed to give. We have one that wants to give you emotional love, stability, whatever, but he's a little stingy. Maybe with his pentacles. I don't know. Um, the overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles, which is someone is wounded. Someone is sick. Someone is feel, feels like they're left out in the cold. Um, someone may be homeless. Okay. Someone may need a place to stay. Someone may need... Um, Someone may need time to work on their pentacles. Someone may see you as a wish fulfillment. Someone may want to collaborate with you. Someone wants to have an accomplishment or some type of completion in their lives in order to take a leap of faith. Okay, okay. Okay. Moving on to the divine tarot, baby. Moving on. Well, my Pisces, spirit ancestors, angel guides, what messages do we have for Pisces today? A little guidance, a little understanding, a little illumination on this situation. I just dropped half of the shit. Don't drop the ball, Pisces. Don't drop the ball, baby. Okay, see things for what they really are. See people for who they really are. Okay, see people for who they really are. Don't go giving your energy to the wrong people, okay? It says Prosper prosperity lies ahead. It's time to take action. You're very close to achieving your goal. Hold your vision. Stay focused, Pisces. Stay focused. Don't let people come in, um, you know, um, disturbing what you're trying, what you got going on, or what you're trying to do, or or your peace. Don't let anyone disturb your peace, baby. And we have we have the Eight of Wands. Action! Incoming! Incoming! <laughs> Incoming! Someone coming towards you fast. Okay, someone's coming towards you fast, Pisces. Or something. Maybe it's your blessings, right? Because that's also my blessings card. Uh, someone you already know, baby. It's coming in. Hey, yes. Maybe somebody's coming in to give you your flowers while you're alive, baby. Okay, maybe someone is coming in to give you a helping hand. Okay, uh, it could be anybody, baby. It could be the neighbor, baby, because they look like they neighbors. <laughs> it could be the neighbor, somebody giving out a helping hand. Here we go. Someone you already know, baby, is coming in fast. Fast action towards Pisces. Eight of Swords. Uh, somebody look like they don't want to be bothered. Somebody look like they hiding. Like they hiding out. Like they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be found. Somebody is um, staying in their lane. Somebody is staying in their lane, baby. Page of Wands. We got another message. Fun, outgoing message. 
maybe to go have some fun, maybe to go out um, to celebrate a message. To do something fun, baby. A message to do something fun. It look like somebody is hiding out. Somebody don't want to be bothered with all that. And then you get a message. Come on, come outside, girl. <laughs> the Seven of Swords. Somebody that think they slick. Somebody who ain't showing their true colors. Somebody who wears a mask. Okay? Someone who... Acts like they're one thing, but they're another. In the center. Okay? Somebody that want to steal something. And let me tell you, people steal more than materialistic things, baby. People steal your joy. Six of Wands. Someone wants to steal your success. I told you, don't... Please be aware and stay focused. If someone doesn't try to come into your life to interrupt what you got going on, to interrupt your peace, to interrupt your success, it says, hold on to your vision. Hold your vision. Okay? Prosperity lies ahead. It's time to take action. You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay? And the Six of Wands is being recognized, being noticed, achieving a goal. Okay? Having some kind of um, uh, being rewarded for something, for something you did. Okay? Being noticed for something that you're doing. The Ace of Cups is in reverse. And the King of Cups. So for some of you, you will be denying this offer. Denying the offer of love. It makes me feel like for some of you, you're focused. It's that you're focused. You're focused on what you want to achieve. You're focused on what you want to accomplish. Um, you're trying to set goals for yourself. You're trying to um, lay foundations, strong foundations. And uh, you just don't got time for people's um, bull crap. But here he go again, which means he ain't going to stop trying, baby. He going to try more than once. The King of Cups, okay? The King of Cups. The King of Cups is trying to align with you, baby. He's trying to align with you. Maybe this time to meet you in a spiritual, in a spiritual, um, Trying to align with you in a spiritual sense. Trying to get themselves together. Okay? Because everything on this card is straight. It's perfect. It's like having OCD, baby. Okay? And then coming forward. To meet the other person face to face. Okay? Face to face. The chariot. The chariot is fast. Forward movement towards their goals. Okay, nothing can stop the chariot. Okay, so go for your goals because nothing can stop you unless you allow them to. Okay, nothing can come in your way unless you allow it to. Okay, let them tricksters go ahead, baby. Let them go ahead. Let them go ahead. Denying that Ace of Cups is like uh, um, dodging a bullet. Okay, moving on to the light seers, baby. Moving on to the light seers. And we have another message. The page of wands. Shooting a shot. Coming in to shoot a shot. Yep. Coming in to shoot a shot. So somebody is going to get brave. They're going to come in. They're going to try to shoot a shot. They want uh, another message. Shoot they shot. They want some balance. They want to balance things out with you. All right. They want to balance things out with you. They want to take control of the situation and show you that they can uh, lead. 
lead without leading you astray. Okay, this person may want you to um, be able to count on them. This person wants to be uh, your stable foundation. Pisces is worrying about Pisces is staying focused. Pisces said no. We got change turning your back again. Well, not again, turning your back. Okay, continuing forward, working on your craft, working on she look they looking right at the stars. So stay focused on your goals, on your dreams, on what you want to create. Uh, your reality, what you want your reality to be, baby. Okay, taking charge of your world, of your world. The emperor, he got his own little world over there. You said so, do I? Here I come. So do I. The world is at a completion, okay, and a check, an achievement. An accomplishment, an accomplishment, and maybe after the the accomplishment, then maybe Pisces will have time to love, and it's a success in love too. <laughs> this is so cool. Soulmate card, success, and then love with your soulmate. Okay, with somebody that. Y'all see eye to eye. Y'all have mutual respect for each other. Y'all have mutual loyalty for each other. Um, uh, Y'all don't play about each other. It's passionate. It's loving. It's uh, very passionate. Um, finally being happy. Finally being the happiest you've ever been. Okay. Getting all that sun's energy, baby. Look at the sun beaming the energy into her. Yes. Yes. Good vibes, baby. Pure actions, pure intentions, moving right along. Someone's going to come out of that. Coming out of that. Um, When pigs fly, they're going to love. Da -da 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 -da. Nope. 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 They know they're going to know who they want. They're going to know who makes them happy. Um, this person is going to change their perspective. Okay, they finally going to pull towards the soulmate instead of being um, floaty. Uh, someone's going to come down and get grounded, baby. Yep, and get grounded, baby. Get grounded, start accepting the blessings of the Holy Spirit. Okay, you see the white dove? Okay, and it's the King of Cups again. The King of Cups came out in every single deck. He is not playing about it. <laughs> okay, or it could be Pisces in their, mas in their masculine energy. Because King of Cups is the water sign. Okay, Pisces is the water sign. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So, finally being able to um, harvest the fruits of your labor, baby. Okay, having and, and having um, your goals met, right? Your goals at work, creative measures, business measures, uh, education, if education is what you're after, whatever it is that you're working on for self, okay, for self. Achieving those goals and then also being able to align with love with a soulmate that's going to make you really happy, that's going to finally choose to stop being up in their head and to actually come forward for their soulmate so that y'all can benefit, okay, so that y'all can harvest the fruits of y'all labors and have emotional stability. And that's cute. Did I see what was on the bottom of here? Yeah, with the chilling ass queen. The king of pentacles and the queen of, I mean, the king of cups and the queen of pentacles. 
Oh, see, see, see. Okay, okay. Here we go. Lessons cards for my Pisces. Lesson cards for my Pisces. Spirit ancestors, angel guides. Please don't forget to subscribe, you guys. It's free. I appreciate you guys helping me to move my channel along. Helping the messages to get across. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in God. That you can do it, that you can get it done, and that you can align, okay? And that you can do things in divine timing so that everything works out, okay? Go with the ebb and flow, baby. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Absolutely not. Okay? And that's why someone is able to deny a cup of love when the time is not right or when the person is not right or when something doesn't feel right. Okay? In order to wait for it to align with you. Yes. You're not alone, baby. You got God. You got your ancestors. You got your spirit guides. You have your support groups, you have your people, your family, who your kids, your whoever. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Yes. So please make sure you subscribe, baby. Please make sure you hit that like button. Okay? Let's help the message get across. You never know who you can help. You never know who needs the illumination. Okay? Thank you. And on the bottom, you have peace. I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Okay, babies. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.